You might ask why you're making this video. You already made one on this topic. I'm recording this video because I feel like I have more evidence that Michael Bell was the rat. I still think it's possible that other people were traitors, but everyone who thinks Michael wasn't the rat are simply wrong. So let's get into it. Let's go back to the beginning, the Blackwater Massacre. To start, Micah had the idea of robbing the Blackwater Ferry. Dutch was into the idea while Arthur and Hosea were on their own job. Hosea and I are onto something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real skate scam Hosea thinks he might have discovered. Another chapter reads, Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in for the banks coming by boat. For once, I am not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our own businesses, which I believe can go very well, and Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. All did not go okay though. They went along and after acquiring the money quite easily, they were met with Pinkertons outside. People point to this for Micah being the rat from the start, saying he tipped off the Pinkertons, but as we find out later, he wasn't a rat yet. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from so this was just a failed job, the reason why there were so many Pinkertons is because it was always a setup. Just like how Lenny hears about a job in Chapter 4 that ends up being a setup, the Blackwater job was a way for Pinkertons to trick outlaws into robbing the boat and then getting caught. The reason why there was so much money was because it was probably a real shipment. Remember, at the time the government were really cracking down on outlaws, so this was a way to catch them red handed. But except for surrendering, the Vanderlyn gang shot their way through Blackwater and into the mountains into Chapter 1. But let's backtrack a bit. Remember, Micah is still a new member to the gang. He was riding with them for around 6 months. The only reason why he's there is because he saved Dutch's life. Maybe he never told you, but fact is, I stopped him getting killed in a bar fight in Crenshaw Hills. He's trying to sell some gold you boys had stolen, annoyed some locals. So, I saved his life. <laughs> I think if the Blackwater job was a success, Michael would have just left. He made his money and it's pretty obvious he doesn't love the gang. He would have just more or less used them. Judging by many interactions, Micah just wanted money. He asked Dutch multiple times to go back to Blackwater, all because Michael wants his share and then to leave. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free, that's it. If you couldn't tell, he's basically saying, tell me where the money is and I'll bring it to you. Which is a complete lie. The more time passes, the more Micah realizes he isn't going to see that money anytime soon, so he thinks of a new plan, turning Dutch in. In Chapter 2, Micah goes on a little retreat. He makes his own camp and stays there for the majority of Chapter 2. After Michael leaves this area, you can go back and see Dutch's bounty for $1,000. That's a lot of money, or at least for Micah, so after robbing the O'Driscolls a couple of times, he learns that Dutch and Colm don't like each other. He keeps this in the back of his mind until chapter 3. Dutch! You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a cornered tiger. Anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your mind? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parlay? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. 
It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. Let's go. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. O'Driscoll's from the look of them. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. It is more than obvious that Micah is completely bullshitting. When was Micah this passionate over something that doesn't involve her own money? There's no way he actually cares enough about Dutch or the gang to want peace with the O'Driscolls. I think Micah went to them talking about turning Dutch in. After some negotiating, they came up with a plan to make it seem like it was Pearson's idea to have a parlay. It was also Micah's idea for Arthur to protect them. He told Arthur exactly where to go like he planned it. And after all that, Arthur got caught. When in the cellar with Calm, he reveals the plan. See, we lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, hand you, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <clears throat> to summarize one more time, I think Micah teamed up with the O'Driscolls to turn Dutch into the Pinkertons. This far, Micah didn't directly go to the Pinkertons, he went to Colm instead, so that's why Agent Milton didn't say anything about Micah later on. He didn't know Micah yet. Micah was only involved with the O'Driscolls for getting Dutch's bounty. Only until Guarma, he started directly working with the Pinkertons. But Micah didn't count on Arthur escaping, so the deal was off. Moving on, I don't think Michael was involved with anyone else until Chapter 5. See, Chapter 4, Dutch is again talking about a big bank robbery, this time the Saint Denis Bank. So Micah is on his best behavior to get his money and leave the gang. But after trying to rob a trolley station, Angelo Bronte, the biggest man in the city, sets them up. Dutch's ego gets the best of him, so he goes and he kills Bronte. So wanting to rob a bank after killing the biggest man in the city is like killing the president and showing up to his funeral. You're asking for trouble. At this point, of course the Pinkertons are coming to Saint Denis to look for the Vanderlyn gang. It was stupid to ever show your face there again. But robbing the bank is the stupidest idea. Everyone in the city is after you. Just like Arthur says, We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk. They really don't. They are their worst enemy. Dutch later saying, So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. Is obviously implying that John and Abigail are rats, and a lot of people take this as fact, as if they should be listening to the man with a brain disorder and an ego the size of Gorma itself. No, Dutch's ego can't take the L, he can't admit he was wrong. Okay, so I'll get back in Micah in just a second, but first I want to talk about John or Abigail being the rat. Which is a no, they aren't, maybe. There's a lot of facts and evidence pushing them being the rats, but the answer is a simple question. Would Rockstar jeopardize the reputation of the original Red Dead Redemption to make John or Abigail the rat? The answer is no, of course the new asshole side character is going to be the antagonist. It's as simple as that. I can't see John ever being the rat, but Abigail makes more sense, I guess, but even her there's a small bit of evidence. She needs to protect her family, like sure, she'll go to the people who are known for killing outlaws and being backstabbers. That's like the opposite of protecting your family. I would rather trust Crazy Dutch. There's another part of the heist where John gets caught and not killed, and people point to that for him being the rat. Mac and Hosea are killed on sight, but John gets to escape. Firstly, plot armor, but secondly, Charles also gets caught but not killed. Does that make him the rat? No, it's just the way it was written. I don't know what else to say to that, this video is more about Micah Bell, but let's get back on track. After getting back from vacation, Arthur learns where the gang are from a not-so-clever note from Sadie. Arthur shows up and gets a warm embrace, but as we can see, Micah is already there somehow. He was obviously on the same boat with Dutch and Arthur, so him getting back first and having enough time to put his clothes on is a little suspicious. 
Again, like I said in my last video, this makes a lot of sense. There's multiple ways this could have gone, either the Pinkertons confronted Micah threatening his life or Micah went to them asking for money and his safety in return for Dutch, but after the Pinkertons show up and start blasting everything in sight, Micah probably gets mad. They betrayed him. So after the massacre is over, Micah slits the neck of this one Pinkerton. Like I said in my last video, this could have been a way of Micah saying fuck you for betraying me, which I still think is true, but a lot of people pointed out that if Micah didn't kill him, he would have told the Vanderlyn gang about Micah being the rat. Which I don't think so, I doubt this random Pinkerton knew that Micah was even a rat. I think Milton was the only one who knew, but again, I don't know, any of one of these could be true. Or I'm just looking too much into it. And now we're getting closer to the end of the story where we have a few inconsistencies, like why the Pinkertons let Micah convince Dutch that killing Leviticus Cornwall, aka the person who was paying the Pinkertons, would be a good idea. In the cutscene, we see Leviticus Cornwall threaten to stop paying the Pinkertons. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Also, maybe the government would ask the Pinkertons for help after Dutch Cone Cornwall, giving the Pinkertons a lot of recognition and promotion. That whole last part was actually from my first video on the topic, but moving on. The next big mission is our best selves, the train robbery mission. Now, Micah and Dutch have been planning it for what seems like a long time. All coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. And besides John getting shot, it was a success. We got something. We got something! The Pinkertons are chasing after the gang the whole mission, and after the robbery, we learn of the news that Abigail is captured, and later on we find out that Micah was the rat. So many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean, and he's been a good boy ever since. <laughs> Horrible man. After this, we go back to camp to Get confront Micah. Packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Hurry! We ain't got long. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. He's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch, think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. After the standoff, the Pinkertons show up, and Micah continues to fight, which is interesting, right? Why wouldn't he just reveal himself in that moment to be the rat and fight with the Pinkertons? Three things I think could have happened. One, I think he wants to fight for that money. Remember, Micah is very greedy. He probably took a liking to Dutch after Dutch finally listens to Micah, so he betrays the Pinkertons. With Dutch, he feels in control, and that makes him want to stay with the gang, only because he feels listened to now. Hosea is gone and Arthur just wants to quit and tie, so Micah now thinks of how to run off with Dutch. That's why Micah gets so mad at the end when Dutch doesn't run with him. 2. I think it's possible that Micah would have just ran off by himself with the money. This is a very Micah thing to do, so I think this is pretty plausible as well. 3. Micah wanted Dutch to come with him because he was about to turn Dutch in, which I think is the weakest theory since he just killed a bunch of Pinkertons and I don't think they're going to take that lightly, but it's still a possibility I guess. Now on to epilogue. We learn that Micah creates his own gang, and we learn that Micah and Dutch haven't talked in 8 years. But Dutch is in the area. We can find an article in the Blackwater Ledger number 73 that reads, A dispatch from Tall Trees reports a sighting of infamous outlaw Dutch Vanderlyn, who has been on a bloody run from the law for many years now. The notorious Dutch's boys gang once plagued this state, but now is to believe to be disbanded as long as 1899. 
We know that he was there to meet with Micah about getting the Blackwater heist money. So after John meets with them on top of Mount Hagen, Dutch shoots Micah. After realizing it, Dutch knew Micah had been the rat and couldn't let that go. It took him 8 years but at least you got him in the end. And that ends the video. I feel like I've proved that Micah was at least a rat at some point in time. You can't tell me he was innocent. He was definitely not. But tell me what you think. Have I changed your world views? Probably not because Red Dead fans are the most stubborn people on earth. But thank you all for watching.